Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, Urban Legends from Montana. The first urban legend is Montana Territorial Prison. The old Montana Territorial Prison was built in 1871. It served as a territorial prison until Montana gained statehood in 1889 and housed prisoners until 1979. Today, it is, one, is on the Registry of National Historic Places. Visitors, visitors flock to see this long-standing building and to verify claims of its terrifying haunted reputation, which stems from the horrible condition prisoners and staff faced in the prison's early days. After exceeding capacity in only a month, the prison became an overcrowded and violent hell where prisoners starved, killed each other, and committed suicide regularly. The prison suffered from underfunding and dirty conditions on and off for over a century. Prisoners even gained control of the prison for over a day in a massive prison riot in the 1950s. Voices, footsteps, and all sorts of eerie sounds have been heard by visitors to the prison. The ghosts they're known to touch and push people, and many have felt a large, malevolent presence rush past them. Some have also had feelings of dread in the sense that they were about to be attacked. The next urban legend is the Chico Hot Spring Hotel. The Chico Hot Spring Hotel is reportedly haunted by the ghost of Piercy Matheson, Matheson, the original owner of the hotel. Matheson lived there until her death in 1940. Spending her golden years in room 346, the most famous story about an encounter with Matheson involved hotel security guard Lori Bone, who saw what he assumed to be a ghost guest wandering the hotel's halls in 1990. The woman vanished in the scent of Jasmine led Bone to room 346. Bone found the room empty and still, except for Matson's old rocking chair, which moved as if someone were sitting in it. Matson's ghost is known for crashing through the kitchen, hiding things from staff, and making an occasional appearances to the night staff. In 1986, a security guard even claimed to have snapped a picture of her apparition. The next urban legend is at Little Bighorn, and this is one that takes place in history. Little Bighorn Battlefield has a bloody history. Here in 1876, Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer and his men clashed with the Lakota and Cheyenne warriors, fighting to preserve their ways of life. Next to the historic battlefield stands the Custer National Cemetery where over 5,000 veterans and their family members are interred. It's no wonder visitors and employees have reported all sorts of ghostly encounters at Little Bighorn. The Crow people reportedly called the local superintendent Ghost Herder because he lowered the flag at dusk, an act they believed awakened the battlefield's many spirits. Custer Spirit has been known to visit people while spectral Native Americans on horseback have been seen riding throughout the battlefield. Visitors have claimed to feel cold spots and hear voices and sounds of battle. One person even said they were transported back in time to witness the battle unfold. Rest in peace. The next urban legend is at Bear Canyon. It's rumored that the ghost of a little girl dressed in white haunts the grounds of Bear Canyon. According to legend, the presence lures female hikers and campers away from the campgrounds and into the woods. Why she, did, why she does this or what she wants from the woman remains unknown. So, if you ever go to Bear Canyon, beware of the mysterious girl at Bear Canyon. The next urban legend is the Hitchhiker of Black Horse Lake. Just off Highway 87 in Cascade County, you may come in contact with a phantom hitchhiker. Over the years, many have reported that as they drove down the stretch of road, a man's body suddenly appears on the windshield as if he had been hit. 
Then he vanishes without leaving a scratch on the car. This figure has been described as a Native American man with long black hair, wearing a jacket and jeans. Many believe he's the ghost of a transit Native American man who was struck by a vehicle one night long ago. The next urban legend is Sacrifice Cliff. Sacrifice Cliff sits in the Rim Rocks south of the Yellowstone River and across from Boot Hill Cemetery. It's thought to have been a place of meditation for young men in the Crow tribe who are coming of age. According to legend, one day two Teen Crow brothers returned home and found that the majority of their tribe and the young woman they loved had died of smallpox. In despair, the young men blindfolded their horses and rode off to the cliff. Please do not do what they did. Your life is valuable. Please know that. The next urban legend is Eagle's Lodge. Boozman is reportedly full of haunts, but witnesses have seen some truly bizarre things at the Eagle's Lodge. A family once walked into a crowded room and watched an invisible force push its way through the crowd jostling people as it moved. Employees have have even witnessed glasses and dishes moving by themselves long after the bar had closed. It's rumored that an old system of tunnels running beneath the entire town starts at, Eagle, at the Eagle's Lodge, and it may be helping ghosts travel throughout the city. The next of a legend is Moss Mansion. The Moss Mansion in Billings is said to be haunted by members of the family who used to call the estate home. The most active ghost is that of Virginia Moss, who died of dip- diphtheria at a young age. Numerous witnesses have reported strange ghostly activity within this mansion, including inexplicable noises and doors that open and close by themselves at night. I have mispronounced the, the sickness. I am very sorry. The next urban legend is at Montana Aleworks. Montana Aleworks wasn't always the brew bub that is, it is today. It was formerly an industrial warehouse for many years. Long ago, an employee was killed in a machinery accident. His ghost supposedly lingers in the pub, appearing in a checked shirt in the bar area. The sounds of jazz music and people talking have also been heard in the building long after closing hours. The next urban legend is Flathead Lake Monster. Since 1889, there have been hundreds of sightings of something fishy and mysterious living in Flathead Lake. It's a large body of water measuring 200 square miles and reaching nearly 400 feet down in some parts, so it's possible some kind of large creature resides there. There were 13 sightings alone in 1993. All are putting a similar creature, the Flathead Lake Monster, is allegedly between 20 and 40 feet long, with multiple humps on its back, black eyes, and an eel or snake-like body. The last urban legend is the Spectral Jogger. One urban legend from Billings revolves around a spectral jogger. This ghostly runner is said to appear in the headlights of cars that drive down Airport Road. Skeptics say it's an illusion caused by steam rising off the pavement, while others claim the figure is an amputee who only runs at night. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe and turn the bell notification on so you know when I post. And let me know which story was the creepiest, creepiest, scariest, buff you'll ever visit these places. Let me know down below. Bye-bye for now.